Well, hi everybody. I am your Dean, Miss Caramel Vixen, VixenVarsity.com. Okay, so tonight was the premiere of Bates Motel Season 2, which I am a huge fan of. But I'm not here to discuss Bates Motel Season 2. I'm here to discuss the horrible show known as <laughs> Bates Motel After Hours. Okay, Bates Motel After Hours is um, the walking, the talking dead. Okay, they show the walking dead and then after they talk about the, the walking dead, the talking dead. So this one is Bates Motel After Hours. Alright, we'll give it a shot. But I don't know who this girl is. This woman is Carrie Cassie. I, I don't know who her name is for one. And for two... She doesn't know her lines. Can she not read the teleprompter? What's going on here? You know how when you tell a joke and... It's dead silence and people look around like... And all you hear is, you know, the crickets. Whatever sound the crickets make. <laughs> that is the show. It is horrible. This show... It's painful to watch. So me as a huge fan of Bates Motel, I think I need to start a petition where this show is canceled immediately. This show after hours is making me not interested. It it has the potential of making me not interested in watching Bates Motel. Now, another issue I have is why can't the producers, the creators of the show, why can't they sit on a couch? Or are they sitting on, I don't know what, maybe these hard chairs, stools? Why can't they sit down? And Norma? What, what, what Vera? Is that her real name? I don't even know her real name. But I'm going to call her Norma because that's who she is. How come Norma doesn't know her? The <laughs> Norma doesn't even know the character Miss B. Blair Watson. I don't even know what she called her, but she didn't know her name. Oh my god. So, the first half, the first segment, um, at the end of the first segment, they told, it was the actors versus the producers, they've, all the tweets that you see about Bates Motel. Now me, being the opinionated dean that I am, I sort of kind of tweeted, retweet if <laughs> Bates Motel After Hours is horrible. I got a few retweets, but uh, the guy who plays Dylan, Max, yeah, well, he favorited. <laughs> he favorited Vixen Varsity's tweet. So, I think if your own actors of the show, Bates Motel, says that it's horrible, well, he agrees with it being horrible by actually favoriting that tweet, then there needs to be a formula. You are not Chris Hardwick. You're not. You are not the talking dad. So, my advice to you, Inside Bates, Bates Motel, After Hours, stop while you're ahead. You're going to lose a lot of people who like the show. Because it seems like, no offense, you got a couple airheads on there. I'm not even going to talk about how the producer sounds. I don't know what. But I'm not going to talk about people because my mom said don't talk about talk bad about anybody. But I'm talking bad about this show because this show was not a person. Cancel the fucking show. That's all I got to say. Cancel the show. It's a hot ass mess. She doesn't know what she's doing. She sounds horrible. She can't read. And well, it's boring. Check the hashtag. This is your Dean, Miss Caramel Vixen of VixenVarsity.com. Subscribe and uh, cancel this fucking show. I think I need to start a petition. Are you guys with me?